We are going to go really slow here. Okay, and we're gonna get our acceleration. Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're gonna be reviewing a 2022 BMW M340i X Drive. First and foremost, so a huge shout out and thank you to the new owner, Gage, for giving me some time with his car. He's actually a salesperson over here at the Chevy Murray that you guys know I film at all the time. So if you're looking for a brand new Chevy or any of the pre-owned vehicles that they have, I'm gonna include his contact info in the description down below so you can reach out to him. He'll take care of you. He's a great salesperson. Let's get into the review. Under the hood, we have a turbocharged three liter inline six that goes through an eight speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 23 around town and then 32 on the highway with power outputs being 382 horsepower at 5,800 RPMs and then 368 pound feet of torque at only 1,800 RPMs. And you guys can see here, obviously BMW and then another BMW logo, they're like doubling down on that. And then M performance with the carbon fiber, definitely a cool display. Now let's go over the front end of this three series. So first off, you guys can see the BMW logo there in the center. And then I love these body lines here on the hood. Sorry about my shadow there, but they just give the hood such a muscular appearance. And then coming down below, you can see here with the LED accent lights and then the projector bulbs, again, super aggressive. Now. The real showstopper with this car is the paint color. You can see it's this metallic gray, but we've got gold metallic flake in the gray paint. And especially here in the sunlight, it just pops. This is one of the most beautiful paint colors I've ever seen. And uh, I think I have to wrap one of my cars in this color now after seeing this in person. We have a front grille that is not obnoxiously large, right? And you can see the venting down below. And overall, one of the best looking BMWs of all time with one of the coolest paint colors of all time. Coming around the side here, we've got two 25 millimeter tires wrapped around 19 inch wheels in the front and over in the rear. And I love how the brake caliper is finished in blue. Definitely contrasts the gray on this car just perfectly. And then you can see with the wheels themselves, those are black to contrast the gray as well. And then of course, we've got the little M logos on them. Notice here with the mirrors, again, those are blacked out so that it creates some contrast with the car, same as the trim around the windows. And here's our full side view. Proportion on the three series is really solid. Notice that I walked away from the car, so it automatically locked. It's a BMW thing, but there you go. Here's our key fob for the three series. We have our unlock, lock, and then we have the opening here for the trunk which pops all the way open. That's definitely a cool feature. Um, but you guys can see here, storage space is great. I mean, look at all the stuff we have that uh, fits back here. And uh, shout out to Gage. He's got his like cleaning stuff because he actually cleaned the car for me to review it, which I really appreciate. But yeah, that's that. And there you go. Finishing things up here with the rear. First off, you notice we have this low profile spoiler. I love the taillights here. They look super aggressive. Of course, we got our M340i badge. And then I love the coverings over the exhaust tips. Again, it just works perfectly with the design of this car. Got our X-Drive logo there on the other side. And other than that, there's kind of the rest of the rear. Definitely a cool look. Now here's the door panel in the rear. Notice we got our padding here on the armrest. And then I've always loved the door handles in the BMWs. And then this does have the Harman Kardon sound system. Again, the design of the speaker is really cool. And then here are these seats. So you can see here with the padding and the stitching that's perforated in the center portion with the seat itself. Uh, now legroom with the three series is a little bit more on the cramped side of things, but it's not horrible. And then you can see here with the vents and then we've got climate controls back here for the rear passengers, which is crazy in a car this small. And then notice with the USBs and well, that's all for the rear. So yeah. Now here's the front door panel. Again, you can see here with the padding and then it's also down below on the armrest. We've got all of our window controls. And then again with the door handle, love that look. Memory seats and then the opening here for the trunk. And then again, another speaker for the Harman Kardon sound system. And then here's a quick look at the mirrors themselves. And then here is the front seats. You can see again with the leather perforated here in the center portion. We've got our adjustments there on the side. And then we've got the pedals down below and we have uh, what I call the crumb collector. So this is like a thigh bolster, but it just uh, every single BMW that I have reviewed that has some miles on it always has a bunch of crumbs there in that area. All of our light controls right there and let's pop in.
So here is the steering wheel. Notice we've got the leather all around, and then you've got the stitching there on the center, this dark to match. Another M logo, heated steering wheel button here in the center portion. And then we've got some controls for like the radio, cruise control on the other side, and then we have the paddle shifter, so that eight-speed automatic. Turn signal stock, got our windshield wiper stock. And also I love how the airbag cover also has the leather and stitching. Definitely just makes it look a lot more premium. Now here's the center gauge cluster. You guys know I'm a huge fan of this uh, setup. So pretty simple. You've got like your fuel and speed on the one side and then you got like your uh, power use on the other side. And notice it shows real time horsepower and torque. So if you rev it a little bit, it, it shows you. I don't know, I think that's cool. And then you got the map view there in the center. And overall, I just love the look of the digital gauge cluster, but we got some different drive modes. Um, so right now we can pop into comfort. We have our Eco Pro. Notice that it'll change what it shows. And then if you pop into sport, it'll change to showing RPMs. So you can kind of see all three gauges will go up at the same time. I don't know, I think that's cool. So here's the center infotainment system. First off, we're gonna pop it into reverse. So we've got the backup camera with trajectory lines and BMW has really solid cameras. Resolution's great. And I like how you have all the different lines. As for the rest of the infotainment system, I'm super familiar with this system because it's the same thing that uh, was in my Toyota Supra. So response time is really solid. It's easy to use as well. Uh, and you know, there's some cool features you can get with this infotainment system. So like some of the vehicles uh, with BMW will have like the gesture control where you can like increase and decrease the volume with your finger if you have, you know, load up enough car for that feature. And so yeah, overall, it's easy to use and let's move on. Got our hazard lights here and then that's for the safety tech dual zone climate. And then you can see here for the heated seats at the bottom. And then notice we've got our analog controls for like the radio. And then this is kind of like our storage thing with the cup holders and the wireless phone charger, that whole setup. It's kind of interesting how it closes. Shifter for the eight speed automatic with our spillet control, engine stop start. We got our sport comfort eco and then auto hold and then parking brake right here. And then you can see with this, this is the control for the infotainment system. So you just got like the dial that you can go through the different things. So if you don't want to use a touch screen, you can basically use that for normal glove box. And then look at the ambient lighting. That's also really cool throughout. And then notice the material use there on the dash. And then finishing things here at the top, we do have a sunroof here. We got the controls for the center right there on the center and then black headliner. So here's our window sticker for this BMW M340i. Uh, so this paint color, if you guys are wondering, is called Dravit Gray Metallic. I'm probably not pronouncing that properly. But yeah, like I said, it's a really cool color. It's worth it. 1500 bucks, I think it's worth it. Anyways, here are the other packages this has. So you guys can see the 48 volt mild hybrid system. A lot of luxury car manufacturers are adding something uh, like that in their cars to make it so there's a little bit more oomph off the line and that the auto stop starts also a little bit more seamless as well. Um, but you can see the total MSRP on this one, $61,885. And I talked to Gage about why he spec'd out the car the way he spec'd this out. He basically added all the cool performance stuff and didn't add the safety tech because he's like, I just want to drive my car. So I think this is a really cool uh, spec. And then you can see the standard features here with the car as well. And yeah, with that being said, Let's take it out and drive it. That was funny. I, I went for the stop start button there instead of where it actually is. Talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood, both of the mirrors, and then throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off in the M340i, and the only cars that I can really compare this to that are similar is, again, I owned a Toyota Supra for a short period of time, and then I recently had that M440i as a demo for a little bit, but that car is heavier than this. And so it's not perfectly comparable and the Supra's a two door. So that's not perfectly comparable, but they all have the same powertrain set up pretty much except for the Supra's rear wheel drive, whereas this has the X drive uh, set up. So a little bit different, um, but it should be pretty interesting to see how this uh, handles and drives. Uh, I think this is actually the first time I've reviewed a three series on the channel. I might be wrong on that, but I think it, I think that uh, might actually be correct. First off, ride quality is actually really smooth. Uh, I actually have an S-Class demo this week, and so driving that around, right, everything feels like not luxury compared to that, but this is actually 
really solid. So I'm in, I'm impressed uh, with it from a ride quality perspective. I love the feeling of the steering wheel uh, and BMW pretty much offers a steering wheel on all their cars, which is great. And it, it's just in terms of like the width and everything of it's perfect, but we're going to pop it into the sport mode. So the gauge cluster setup changes. Let's see how the steering feels. It automatically downshifts for me, which feels cool. So it kind of holds the gear a little bit longer when you're just going partial throttle. Yeah, and even going over the manhole covers and everything, it's still smooth. We're gonna pop it into the manual mode now. Oh, it downshifted as soon as I popped it in the manual mode. It's like, oh, you're you're getting ready to get up and go. So I'll uh, upshift a few times. But yeah, so far, this is this is great. So we are going to go really slow here. Okay, and we're gonna get our acceleration. Wow. Yeah, this thing's quick. This thing is definitely quick from an acceleration perspective. It just uh, gets up and moves. And uh, also, nothing to see here, officer. Just, um, you know, casually going on a stroll here. Nothing nothing to see here. Look at that, guys. All good. Um, I'm going to leave that video because I think it's funny. But yeah, this is, this is quick. This is quick from an acceleration perspective. And it, again, that torque comes on at such a low RPM that it just just rockets out, which is definitely fun. So yeah, let's get to setting things up here with the 3 Series, which feels surprisingly similar to the 4 Series. You can feel the fact that this is slightly lighter than the 4 Series. It does feel a little bit more nimble, which is cool that I can actually perceive that uh, with the cars. Um, but aside from that, acceleration actually feels relatively the same. Uh, it's, it's more of like when you're going around a corner that you feel the difference, that you feel that this is a lighter weight uh, car. And, you know, transmission is super responsive. Seats are actually really comfortable. Uh, they've got nice bolstering on them as well, so they actually hold you in place pretty well. And there's not really anything that I can say bad about this from a driving iron perspective. And it's all-wheel drive, which is super practical. <laughs> it's, it's quick. Wow. This thing, is it's just... Yeah, I mean that this this feels like a sub four second car from a zero to sixty perspective. It is it is quick enough to give you a little bit of a head rush. We're gonna pop back in the automatic mode. So yeah, if you're looking for a super fun daily driver that you know if you pop this into the normal mode, the comfort mode rather, <laughs> it's so fun. If you pop into the comfort mode and you have it in automatic mode. You know, this is still not a huge engine, so you could actually get good fuel economy. So it's, it's practical from that perspective. But then you pop into sport mode and, you know, you do some downshifts and everything, and this thing just rockets off. And so it's exciting, and it's cool that it has that dual practicality to it. So, yeah, if you're looking for a great daily driver slash fun uh, car that you could basically use as, like, your weekend car, you could take this up and down a canyon and have a ton of fun with it, that's what this 3 Series gives you. And there's a big benefit to going over this versus the 4 Series. This feels lighter. And even that the 4 Series that I had was the Grand Coupe, so it had four doors like this. But I don't feel like this has any less room in the uh, rear compared to the 4 Series. So I feel like this is the one to go for. That's gonna sum things up for our video on this 2022 BMW M340i xDrive. Again, a huge shout out and thank you to Gage for giving me some time with his BMW. If you're looking for a new Chevy, his contact info is in the description down below. I'll see you guys.